with the goal of shedding light on teachings of Islam and the Holy Quran, the Dubai International Peace Convention concluded today. The convention under the patronage of Her Highness Sheikha Hind bin Maktoum bin Juma Al Maktoum, wife of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, started off with a peace march on Friday the 6th of April as an introduction to the DIPC 2012. In collaboration with the Almanar Center, the three-day event brought Islamic thought leaders together to promote the philosophy of universal brotherhood, in which relationships between cultures are built purely on mutual respect. Beju Sayed, official spokesperson for the Islamic Center, believes that people need guidance when seeking for human success as well as progress. Our common goal is aiming global unity through peace. Everybody, irrespective of which class, which creed, which color, they all want one thing, which is peace. But how could we achieve peace? How, uh, how relevant is Islam with peace? So this is what we wanted to expose because our less privileged brethren, they don't know much about Islam. They only read through media, which most often uh, grossly misjudge Islam. So we, we, being the ambassadors of Islam, we want, to do, we want to present Islam the true way. The DIPC, now in its second year, has grown into the world's leading inspiration for widespread initiatives that foster constructive dialogue, freedom, justice, as well as equality, and aims to visit countries across Europe as well as USA. The Salvation Exhibition displayed a collection of photographs and holy scriptures from the Quran, which served as an eye-opener for both Muslims and non-Muslims. People don't know how to have... The, they, they, they all are craving for peace, in fact. Uh, a problem or another, all are facing. So uh, when we give a correct direction, inshallah, they, 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 their mind will be changed. For example, a person who is an addict of intoxicants, he know intoxicant is not right. But when we give correct examples and correct way how to be free from intoxicants, inshallah, it will affect him, just as all places. The Dubai Police Traffic Department has revealed that traffic-related deaths have dropped in the first quarter from 33 in 2011 to 27 this year. However, the number of accidents resulting in injuries has increased from 629 last year to 675 this year. According to local reports, Major General Mohammed Saif al zafain director of the department, said that the decline in road deaths was due to steps taken by the department, which include cracking down on errant drivers, especially those who commit serious offences. Topping the list of offences that resulted in traffic-related deaths was a failure to respect other road users, followed by sudden, sudden swerving, which resulted in five deaths in 96 accidents. Driving under the influence of alcohol resulted in 66 serious accidents and two deaths, while speeding caused 16 accidents and two deaths. With the aim of protecting 220 historic buildings by 2016, Dubai will start restoring old forts, watchtowers, mosques and markets. Historic parts of the Emirates along the creek, including Al Shandaga, Old Souks and Al Bastakia, require strengthening of their structures, foundations, ceilings and other work within the building's traditional design. Dubai is known for being a business and tourist destination. However, a lot of the buildings from the 70s and the 80s have been demolished and replaced with high-rise skyscrapers, leaving no historic heritage to the city. According to Rashid Mohammed Bukash, director of the Architectural Heritage Department at Dubai Municipality, 160 historic buildings have been restored so far and by 2016, and there are, no, that there are plans to increase this number to 220. The Environment Agency of Abu Dhabi has announced that it will undertake a comprehensive assessment and monitoring program of Jebel Hafid this year. Home to some of the most threatened wildlife as well as one of the UAE's rarest plants, Jebel Hafid, which is located south of Alain and straddling the border between the UAE and the Sultanate of Oman, is considered one of the most important areas in the Emirates for terrestrial biodiversity. The globally threatened Arabian Tahir is one of these species and it has been caught on EAD's radar as part of the EAD's monitoring program. Over 170 plant species have so far been documented from Jebel 
level her feet, and this accounts for over 40% of the total plant species recorded. As part of its ongoing efforts to monitor mammal diversity and distribution in and around Jebel Hafid, EAD has set up special cameras in the area that automatically detect and capture a shot of anything that walks past it. And up next, we have the day's business news for you, so stay with us.